Were you married out of community of property without the accrual after the 1st of November 1984? Recent changes to legislation could mean good news for you. Hi, I'm Simon Dupinar and I'm a family attorney. I recently spoke to you about changes to legislation that impact favorably on non-married life partners. Legislative changes have also been passed that affect couples who are married out of community or property without the accrual after the 1st of November 1984, though whether you view the changes as favorable or not will depend on your perspective. In my view, they make the division of assets on divorce fairer. The court ruling I refer to is a recent Pretoria High Court ruling that declared Section 73A of the Divorce Act unconstitutional. The Divorce Act currently stands only a party married out of community or property before the 1st of November 84 can petition the courts for an equitable portion of the other party's assets upon divorce. This is because the accrual system was not introduced in the out of community or property matrimonial regime until then. As a reminder, the accrual system gives both spouses the right to share equally in the growth of their respective estates in the event of divorce, while ring fencing the assets they own prior to the marriage by way of an anti-nuptial contract. The type of marriage is considered more equitable, especially if one spouse either stays at home or earns considerably less than the other but contributes in other ways to the couple's well-being and prosperity. Spouses married with the accrual retain their own as estates entirely separately during the marriage and in the event of divorce, which can be unfair to the economically weaker spouse. Now, prior to the 1st of November 84, upon divorce, many spouses, usually women, walked away from the marriage with nothing if they were married out of community or property because there was no option of accrual. This was despite having made a non-financial contribution by raising the children, maintaining the household, etc., making it possible for the spouse, in other words, the husband, to pursue his career and build his wealth. In those days, a woman in that situation could ask the court to transfer a portion of her husband's assets to her as compensation for the role she played in the marriage. The new ruling found that the particular section of the Divorce Act is inconsistent with the Constitution because it discriminates against those married after the 1st of November 84 out of community of property with no accrual. It does not provide the same right to claim the share of the spouse's assets that it provides to parties married out of community of property before the 1st of November. Now, as a result of this ruling, if you are married without the accrual system, you can claim an equitable portion of your spouse's assets upon divorce. However, this right is not automatic and you must prove your direct or indirect contribution to the marriage and show how you, you contributed to the growth of your spouse's estate. This ruling still needs to be confirmed by the Constitutional Court, but if confirmed, it will have a major impact on the right of the economically weaker spouse to claim fair compensation for the role played in the marriage. Of course, if you're not married and you are considering your options, you can prevent this situation arising by drafting a suitable antinatural contract that includes accrual. Give me a call on OETIC's 0995146 for confidential discussion about the various matrimonial regimes.